Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Beelicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. Since 2021 is coming to an end, I thought it would be a great time to give a wrap on my goals for the year. So at the beginning of the year, I made some goals for 2021. And then around June or July, I noticed I surpassed them. So I set some new goals for myself. So finally, we're just gonna see what I have accomplished what I haven't or some like I'm still working on. Also, I will be making a 2022 goals video, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Let's just go ahead and dive right into my goals. My original goal for this year was to reach 100 subscribers and to grow on Pinterest. So since I surpassed that, my new goal in June, July, whenever I filmed that video, was to reach 150 subscribers right now as I'm filming. I have 320, so that's literally double my goal. That's triple my original goal, so I could not believe it. I'm like really just wanna say thank you to all who subscribe and watch me. I really am thankful for like every comment, like and watch, subscriber, just I'm thankful for absolutely everything. I noticed like, you know, I put more work into this now. Like at first, I didn't know what I was doing, so it's definitely like a slower rate, but I'm like really happy. You know, I still have a full-time job, I was going, back to college, so I just really want to thank you all. I really appreciate it. I could never imagine I'd be at this rate. I even thought 100 subscribers kind of reaching above and beyond, but to literally be double and triple, just definitely thank you all. And as I mentioned in my last video, I just was not seeing anything on Pinterest, so I literally did not gain like one follow or like. So instead of investing my energy and time into that, I decided to go with other platforms that I'm going on. So like as of right now, like my number one like growth rate is on YouTube, working on Instagram and like a little bit on TikTok. So those are like the top three I focus my energy on, definitely YouTube being number one. But yeah, I just kind of gave up on Pinterest. I wasn't seeing like any type of engagement, like I said. I didn't get like one follow or pin, nothing. So I just decided to shift my energy elsewhere. My second original goal was to improve on video quality and animation. I definitely think I have, like I was able to create my own like subscribe button. I could do like the overlays. I think I posted a lot more on lighting, whereas before I can I can't believe I look back at my old videos I'm like I thought that was like good enough to post like honestly so embarrassing but honestly it does show gross so I try to focus more on my lighting on the video quality and like having like background music and animation or like little pop-ups so I definitely think I approved there so then I shifted my goal to buy a MacBook and a camera so I thought I was gonna buy one of those two during Black Friday but I was actually like really close to buying like a laptop but the one that I needed for my needs was like the most expensive one. Well, I don't even think it's the most expensive, but let me just say I was looking at the, like the cheapest one possible knowing me. And it was just a little above my budget at the time and it didn't come on sale during Black Friday. So I just decided to save and to wait, like save up for it more. So I didn't do that and I didn't buy a camera. So right now I'm still using my iPhone SE and it's working just fine. It has 4K on it. so. I'm not too mad about that. So yeah, I didn't reach that goal this year buying the MacBook and the camera. I think honestly, that was kind of like an above and beyond reach because those two things are very expensive even during Black Friday. But I definitely think it'll be on my goals next year. And goal number three was to purchase my dream car. So luckily I purchased it back in April. You're probably thinking, ooh, she got a sports car. Instead it's a 2020 Honda CRV, and you're probably thinking, really? I know, but I wanted something really reliable. I always wanted a Honda and a Toyota. When I first purchased my car, I got a Nissan. It just gave me so much trouble. Then I got into an accident and like from there, I just, so many things went wrong with it. So I just really thought like this car is gonna give up on me any day. So I was saving for a car for about six or seven years. Anytime I had like overtime on my check, I put it towards like a new car. Anytime I just had some extra money, I just put it towards a new car. When I started my new job, we were sent to work from home. Here we are two years later, still haven't returned. And I just sold my car because like honestly, I didn't need it. It didn't make sense for me to like pay for gas, insurance, all that good stuff because I was only driving it on weekends. Sometimes I wouldn't even drive it for like a whole week. So my husband and I shared a car for about a year almost. So just saving money from like not paying for like gas, insurance, oil changes, or if anything else went wrong with that car. So I was able to pay my car in full, but it was like a long way of savings. But I'm really happy with it. So it was definitely a good purchase and it will last me a while. My fourth goal was to share more about couponing and sales. So I kind of felt like I halfway met this goal because 
when I want to share about couponing or like I filmed about it like in store I come home and I'm just like this isn't an interesting video nor is it long enough it's like less than four minutes I bought like three things or less I don't do these large hauls as like these other people do so I'm like that's not gonna be a really interesting video so it just doesn't make sense like maybe in the future I can do like a little Instagram reel or something like that and like break it down or like a post I'll think of something but definitely on Instagram I do share like more like daily deals and on YouTube I'll share like Black Friday deals so that's why I feel like I halfway met it and I actually recently did a video where I share my actual expenses so yeah you'll know what my bills cost so definitely check that video above and I mentioned over there how I follow Savvy Coupon Shopper. I'll have her link down below too if you want to check it out. She definitely does larger hauls and she breaks it down so you can get like your toiletries, like laundry detergent, makeup for like a really good price. But I do think I share like, you know, Black Friday sales on here and stuff. So that's why I think I halfway met that goal. But yeah, definitely check her out if you want to save some money. My fifth goal was to travel. I wasn't too sure with everything going on, but luckily we were able to visit three new locations. So for our second wedding anniversary, we went to New Orleans, Louisiana. That was really cool to visit. Definitely learned a lot there. And then we traveled to Santa Clarita. We went there for the July weekend. And then we went to Hawaii in September. That was my first time ever in Hawaii. Definitely had a blast. So I look forward to it and hope we can travel some more next year. So my sixth goal was the typical one, you know, live a healthier lifestyle and work out more. So this one I struggle with because I've actually been doing the grow with Joe and I've been working out six days a week and I have been eating healthier. Like my husband and I like reevaluated our meals. And so now we'll just kind of eat like bad breakfasts on the weekend. So, you know, like indulge in that. And I feel like I have been eating healthier. I've been working out more, but I'm not seeing like weight come off. So like some weeks, like when I first started, I was like, oh wow, I'm losing inches. Like you know my pants are fitting looser and then like some weeks no but I know like our bodies tend to fluctuate a lot but it's just so weird I just feel like my, my pants still feel a little bit looser I don't know so I'm definitely putting the work in and like eating healthier like I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh I eat like the cleanest diet no but I do think I made improvements like I eat fruit I drink water I've been like looking more like what we make for like dinners and stuff and I've been like printing some recipes off like YouTube and like Pinterest but I just I don't know what it is. I know like a few years ago I did try to be like vegetarian cut back on meat and that's when I saw the best results so definitely need to try maybe like looking into that. Originally I was doing this other like workout program team body project which is on YouTube and it just wasn't challenging for me and I got my Apple watch and like it wouldn't recognize me working out even if I did like two of their workout videos. Then when I switched to Grow With Joe, which she's amazing by the way so definitely check her out. But yeah when I was doing her workout videos like my Apple watch like my heart rate would be up enough to where it recognizes a workout. So I meet like all my like three daily goals which is like to burn 500 calories, reach over 10,000 steps, work out 30 minutes a day, and then also I think the other one's like to stand for 12 hours. And even at my job, like I'll like walk around or like walk in place. I'm hardly sitting. I don't know. I mean, I just probably just need to find out like what works best for me, maybe intensify the workout. So I'm just going on a rant now, but I'm just being honest with you all. So kind of feel like I'm living a healthier lifestyle, but I'm not really seeing like physically it affect me as much as I want it to. So my seventh goal was to be promoted at my job. So I could finally talk about this now. I did get promoted. I actually just started. This is my second week, almost third week. So very new and it was something where my degrees actually like pays off with this. So I'm super excited for that. So with the promotion came like a huge like jump in pay. So I'm really excited for that as well. And hopefully with that said, I could you know, start saving for the MacBook and camera because like I mentioned, I think I mentioned my last like goals update video when I took this job, I took a pay grade as it was and then we got furloughed. So just to be like finally having like this position where like my degree like qualifies for, just like a huge honor to have. And I'm just like super excited. Everyone at work super supportive. I'm loving training so far and it just has been like super great. I'm just like super excited ending 2021 like this. I think it's like a good start for 2022. So 
Really excited to see what 2022 has in store. Overall, I did achieve my goals, except I didn't purchase a MacBook or a camera, but hopefully next year. And then as far as like living a healthier lifestyle, I think I definitely am. Like I said, I'm working out like five to six times a week, eating better. I'm just not seeing like the physical changes. I wish I was like a little more toned or, you know, I lost weight. I feel like I'm kind of losing inches. Anywho, other than that, I have met my goal. So I'm super excited. I honestly felt like filming a video about it, like really had me stick to it because I knew I was going to do a video talking about it. So I am a pretty driven person anyways, but if no one knows about it, I could just easily be like, oh, well, I didn't tell anyone. They're not going to remember, but I kind of held myself to it more. So I just want to say thank you all like it's not just my goals that were met like it's because of you my goals were met like with the subscribers and growing so really appreciate it I hope everyone has a fantastic end to 2021 I hope 2022 is great for everybody like I said I will be making a video about my goals for 2022 if you want to see that definitely stay tuned and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button down below also let's give this video a thumbs up and I hope you all have a happy holidays bye everyone